Hello, we're going to use this video to calculate the value of life. The value of a statistical life is based on how much people are willing to pay to reduce their risk of death. Labor market data on occupational wages and occupational fatalities can be used to calculate the value of a statistical life. Borjas, uh, the Harvard labor economist, states that the value of a statistical life is the amount that workers are jointly willing to pay in lower wages to reduce the likelihood that one of them will suffer a fatal injury in any given year. The calculation. In labor market equilibrium, the marginal worker is indifferent between job A, which has high wages and high risk of death, and job B, an occupation with low wages and a lower risk of death. Equilibrium occurs where the marginal benefit equals the marginal cost. The marginal cost in this context of a less risky job is the pay cut, the reduction in the wage from taking a less risky job with lower pay. The marginal benefit of taking a less risky job is basically an expected value. It's going to be the reduction in the probability of death multiplied by the value of life. So setting up the equation here, marginal benefit equals marginal cost. What is the marginal benefit of taking a safer job? It reduces your probability of death by a certain amount. And if we multiply by that, by that uh, amount by the value of life, uh, we got the expected benefit. And that will equal the reduction in the wage, the marginal cost in equilibrium. Solving for the value of life just by dividing through by the reduction in the probability of death, we have the value of life formula, the reduction in wage divided by the reduction in the probability of death. Let's do an example. Job A has an annual salary of 50,000 and a risk of death of 100 deaths per 100,000 workers. Job B's annual salary is 43,000 with a lower risk of death here, 20 deaths per 100,000 workers on average. The marginal cost of a less risky job is going to be 7,000, okay, the, the pay cut here from taking a less risky job. And the reduction in the probability of death from the less risky job, 100 divided by 100,000 workers is a probability of death in job A, subtracting out the probability of death in job B. 20 workers per 100,000, we get our answer here of 0 0.0008. Putting our formula from the last slide here, the value of life is a reduction in wage divided by the reduction in the probability of death. It's going to be 7,000 divided by 0 0.0008. So we get a probability, or we have a value of life estimated at, at $8.75 million. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful.